Well, detectives, I've got a strange one for you today. The maintenance tech called and said, one area in my steam system heats first thing in the morning, but won't heat again for the rest of the day. It started doing it a couple days ago. Now, when someone tells me that, the first follow-up question is obvious. What changed a few days ago? His answer? Nothing, really. Just swapped one of the main air vents. What do you think is going on? Welcome back to Boiler Room Detective. I'm your host, Ray Wolfhart. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind a misbehaving one-pipe steam system and dive into the real workings of air vents, vent sizing, and the often confused concept of drop away pressure. I've written 14 books on boilers. They're available at Amazon, Pronto Heating Supplies, HeatingHelp.com, and TF Campbell. The first clue, a new air vent could work occasionally. When we arrived, the tech showed us the freshly installed vent, a Hoffman 75. On the workbench sat the old vent, which looked almost identical. There was one small difference. It was a 75H. At first glance, same shape, same size, same threads, practically twins. But in steam work, tiny differences can create big problems. I should also mention they run their steam system at 5 PSI all day long. That should have been the second. When I pulled up the cut sheets on the vents, the difference hit me immediately. A Hoffman 75H. Maximum operating pressure, 10 PSI. The Hoffman 75, maximum operating pressure is 3 PSI. Now that wording, maximum operating pressure, confuses a lot of people. I know it did me for a long time. It sounds like the vent can't handle pressure above that number. But that's not what it means at all. The number is actually the vent's drop-away pressure, and that changes everything. The old vent, the 75H, had a drop-away pressure of 10 PSI, meaning it would reopen as long as the system pressure was below 10 PSI. The new vent, the standard 75, had a drop-away pressure of 3 PSI, meaning it wouldn't reopen until the pressure dropped below 3 PSI. That's the whole mystery right there. In this theme system, the boiler ran at 5 PSI nearly all day. That meant the morning heat cycle worked because the system had no steam pressure. But after that first cycle, the system pressure never fell low enough for the vent to reopen. It stayed closed, trapping air, and the zone stayed cool. There was nothing wrong with the vent. It was just simply the wrong type of vent for the pressure the system was operating at. Air is the enemy of steam. To understand why this matters so much, you have to remember one rule. Air is the enemy. It blocks steam. Steam can only enter a pipe when the air ahead of it gets out. That's the entire job of the air vent. Here's the simplified cycle. System cools, piping fills with air. Boiler fires, steam forms, and pushes the air out the vents. Steam arrives, the vents close. System cools, vents reopen as long as the pressure is below the drop away pressure. When a vent fails to reopen, the system stays full of air and the radiator stays cool. Main air vents versus radiator vents. Most systems have two types of vents. Main air vents is number one. They're located on the mains or dry returns. Their job Remove large volumes of air quickly. A properly sized main air vent distributes steam evenly, prevents hissing radiator vents, reduces fuel use, and makes the building heat quieter and more evenly. A bad main vent, the whole building suffers. Radiator vents, these are the fine-tuning devices for the heat. They control how fast each radiator fills with steam. Radiator vents are for balancing, not for doing the job of the main air vents. Sizing the air vents correctly. Main vents, 
The ghoul vent the entire main in under one minute. Rules of thumb, short mains, below 20 feet, one main air vent. Medium length mains, 20 to 50 feet, one or two main air vents. Long mains, 50 plus feet, multiple large air vents or venting manifold. When in doubt, oversize the main vent. Never oversize the radiator vents. Radiator vents use faster vents for cold rooms, long risers, heat far from the boiler. Use slower vents for overheating rooms, radiators close to the boiler, or rooms with lots of solar gain. The goal, all radiators should heat about the same time, but not at the same speed. Common vent problems and what they mean. Hissing or spitting. It's over venting. Defective or undersized main air vent, wet steam, or high pressure. Radiator half hot. Vent too slow, clogged vent, or bad main venting. Radiator stone cold. Vent stuck closed, valve is shut, or the radiator's plug. Frequent vent failures are usually caused by high pressure water hammer, or dirty boiler water. Good venting equals quiet, even, efficient heat. So what's the conclusion? What happened in this case? A vent that worked perfectly with a 10 PSI pressure drop was replaced with one that needed to, the pressure to fall below 3 PSI before opening. Because the system ran at 5 PSI, the vent never reset after the morning cycle. In other words, it wasn't a bad vent. It was just the wrong vent for the job. The job shows why understanding air vents, vent sizing, and especially drop-away pressure is essential for anyone working on steam. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next case.